day everyone. Welcome to ICT Online Learning. For today, let us proceed to the next chapter that is about scientific measurement. So for that, so let us proceed to the definition of measurement. So measurement is it is the process or the result of determining the magnitude of a quantity such as length or mass relative to a unit of measurement such as meter or a kilogram. The word measurement stems via the middle French term mesure from the Latin mensura and the verb metiri. Now, we have also what we call the systems of measurements. The first one is the metric system. So the metric system is an international decimalized system of measurement first adopted by France in 1791. That is the common system of measuring units used by the most of the world. Now, second, so a set of fundamental units is a set of units for physical quantities from which every other unit can be generated. We have here also what we call the fundamental quantities. We have length in meter, mass in kilogram, time in second, electric current in ampere, thermodynamic temperature in Kelvin, amount of substance in mole, and luminous intensity in candela. Another is what we call the English system, a system of weights and measures based on the foot and pound and second and pin. The English system was originally based on non-universal things such as a human body parts. An inch was the width of the thumb, an acre, the amount of land that could be plowed in a day. So those are what we call the examples of measurements. Now, let us proceed to what we call scientific notation. Scientific notation, also known as the standard form or as exponential notation, is a way of writing numbers that accommodates values too large or too small to be conveniently written in the standard decimal notation. Scientific notation has a number of useful properties and is often favored by scientists, mathematicians, doctors, and engineers who work with such numbers. In scientific notation, all numbers are written like this. So we have A times 10 raised to the B power. Wherein A times 10 to the power of B, where the exponent B is an integer, and the coefficient a is any real number. But see normalized notation below, called the significant or mantisa. Though the term mantisa may, co may cause confusion, as can also refer to the fractional part of the common logarithm. If the number is negative, then a minus sign precedes a, as in ordinary decimal notation. Now, for that, so we have some example how to uh, compare the ordinary decimal notation into scientific notation. So we have the ordinary decimal notation, so we have 300. Then for the scientific notation equivalent, that is 3 times 10 to the second power, we have 4,000. Convert into scientific notation, it will become 4 times 10 to the third power. We have uh, 5 billion, 720 million equivalent to 7 point or 5.72 times 10 to the 9 power. And we have 0 0.000000061. And then if you convert it into scientific notation, it will become 6.1 times 10 to the negative 9 power. Okay, so those are the comparison of the ordinary decimal notation. And then if we convert it into scientific notation. Okay, now another is we have what we call the significant figures. It is represents the decimal place which determines the extent of rounding up to be done. This is usually based on the degree of accuracy in measurement. Now we have here also some rules for the, for the significant figures. Number one, all non-zero numbers, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, are always significant. Number two, all zeros between non-zero numbers are always significant. Number three, 
all zeros which are simultaneously to the right of the decimal point n. At the end of the number are always significant. And last rule, all zeros which are to the left of the written decimal point and are in a number are always significant. So those are the rules for writing a significant figures. Okay, now we have also what we call the uh, accuracy at the same time precision. If we say accuracy, that is um, accuracy of a measurement system is the degree of closeness of measurements of a quantity to its actual or what we call true value. So that is accuracy. Then if we say precision, that is also called re reproducibility or repeatability. Or it is the degree to which repeated measurements under unchanged conditions show that the same result. So meaning, uh, if we say precision, so those repeated measurements, so they are very close to each other. Example, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, then again, 0 0.11 again, 0 0.10. So those are uh, repeated measurements, which is very close to each other. Third is precision is sometimes stratified in two. So that is reproducibility at the same time that is repeatability. Now, for us to know what is the difference between accuracy and precision, so we have here this figure shown. So this figure represents the poor or good accuracy and precision. So if you take a look at the first illustration located to the left side, so this is the note as the uh, good accuracy, but poor precision, okay? Another in this second illustration located at the middle, this is signifies as poor accuracy, but good precision. And the last illustration located to the right, that is a good accuracy at the same time, good precision. So meaning if you observe these three illustration, so we will come up with this, okay? So the accuracy of a measurement is how close a result comes to the true value. Then if we say precision, precision is the rep or reproducibility of multiple measurements. It is usually described by the standard deviation, standard error, or confidence interval. So those are the indication how good or how poor accuracy and precision is. Okay? So for that, so thank you for watching and hope to see you in our next video. So again, thank you so much and have a good day to everyone. For more ICCT College's video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.